Imagine a soccer game with a ball barely wider than a human hair, with robotic players, and a competition that can be only viewed under a microscope. What you're looking at is the world's smallest soccer stadium. College teams competing this week at the RoboCup Federation Games will include for only the second time nano-sized robots. It's very high tech, it's very difficult. Technically, it's a very high bar that we're expecting these students to clear. Researcher Craig McGray and his team are making the nano soccer fields in this ultra clean environment for all the competitors. The nanobots have to get through two qualifying rounds, a two millimeter dash, and a microscopic obstacle race to go forward to the final. A soccer style shootout that requires the nanobots to move balls the size of dust mites into a goal. After the fun and games are finished, the competition's designers hope it will spark thoughts of future use. But first, you have to understand the economies of scale. This is a dime, and this is a nanobot on a dime. The contest measures agility, response to computer control, and the ability to move objects, all skills that future robots will need for tasks such as microsurgery within the human body or the manufacture of tiny electrical components, such as smaller and faster microchips. Even when the most casual observer sees one of these microscopic robots in action, ideas immediately come to mind for how they could be useful. The RoboCup games in Graz, Austria run from June 29th to July 5th. There is no cash prize for the winner, it's purely for bragging rights and maybe the chance to develop an entirely new field of robotics. Tracy Brown, The Associated Press, 